Now, just have a look at this person standing here. This person is standing here and is looking in that direction. And immediately you will see something happening here. This is a blocking feature. In other words, this feature here is blocking the line of vision of this person standing here. Now, have a look at this person standing there. This means that this would be visible for the person. In other words, he can see this. He can see from there to there. And then he can see that part as well. There's no ways that this person can see that there because this is in the line of vision. It's blocking his vision here. He won't be able to, to, to see that. Also, they won't be able to see this here on, the, on that. Now, something that you can't see on a map is called dead ground. So, so, so here we've got things that are visible and we have got things that are not visible. Now, the popular question in the exams is to test if you know uh, if you can apply intervisibility on a map. Let's have a look at an example on a topo map. Here we've got the map of Palm. Here we've got a school here, and here we've got Pal Rock over here. And the question is, can the learners at this school, can they see Pal Rock? In other words, is Pal Rock visible uh, from the school here? Can they see Pal Rock? Now, all you have to do, if you've, if you've, if you've uh, uh, noticed what we've done on the previous slide, you will know, I must look for a blocking feature. I must look for something higher in between the school and Pal Rock that could, uh, could block my vision, my line of vision here. Now, let's have a look. In other words, I must know the height of Pal Rock and I must know the height of school. That's the first thing that I must do. So let us find out. Yo, that is what we're going to do and that is the height of Pal Rock. Remember, see here is your trick station and please remember people, they are not going to give you the height. Remember that we've done in our map skills, we had a look at the four ways in which height is indicated on the map. You can see this comes into play now. Let's have a look. Here we've got Pal Rock. And we can see that Pal Rock, the height of Pal Rock, is 543,1 meters. Grade 11s, please don't make the mistake by giving 348. Remember that that is the trick station number that we've got here. 348 is the number. This is the height. Okay. Now, let's have a look at the height of the school. Now, how do we determine the height of the school? You will see that this is a contour running here, just past the school here. And the value of that contour is 180 meters. And immediately you can see 180 and 543. And then all of you go, yes, we can see that. Please, people, it doesn't stop there. What must we do? We must see if there's not something in between that's a bit higher. Because if there's something, it's going to block my vision. Let's have a look at this. You have got 180, you have got 5. So I must look for heights here and see, right, those are the heights. 180, 200, 300, 400, and this one is 543. And immediately I see, yes, nothing here in my line of vision, nothing higher in my line of vision. And if I must draw uh, a cross section from the school to Pal Rock, it would look like that. Here's the school. Here's Pal Rock, and the learners from the school, if they look in the direction of Pal Rock, the learners definitely will be able to see the school, so Pal Rock is visible from the school. Okay, very important. Now let's have a look at another example. Here we've got the Nantes Dam. Now we've got, uh, got a question. If you are standing here at the Nantes Dam, is Pal Rock visible from Nantes Dam? What is the first thing I must do? I must get the height of Nantes Dam. And here we see a contour running here. Now, what is the height there? The height there, 600. That's a 600 meter contour line. But now we've got a problem. Here's a 600 meter contour line. Pal Rock is 543, but have a look at this. F uh, 554. So here we've got Gordon's Rock at a height of, uh, sorry, 654 meters. In other words, if I've got 600 here, Here's Gordon's Rock that is much higher, about more than 50, 54 meters higher. And here we've got Pal Rock. In other words, we've got Pal, uh, Gordon's Rock here will be a blocking feature. And when we look at our cross section, this is what's happening here. You have got Nantes Dam, you have got Gordon's Rock, and they've got Pal Rock. In other words, Pal Rock is not visible from the dam. It's very, very important that you must be able to, to see that. Now, I've also brought a photo with, uh, for you. Here we've got Nantes Dam, and now you can see everything uh, yeah, that we've got here. Here we've got Nantes Dam, 
We saw the height of Nantes Dam uh, is uh, 600 meters. Uh, the height of Gordon's Rock, 654. Just to have a look at that. This guy cannot see Power Rock from Nantes Dam because Gordon's Rock is in his line of vision. Power Rock is just on the backside, on the other side of Gordon's Rock. So you cannot see Power Rock from, from Gordon's Rock. 